According to special relativity, a moving clock slows down, but it doesn't mean what you think it does. Al and Paula are at the ends of a very long platform. They decide to measure the time lapse between when a train passes one and then the other. The train also has a clock and all clocks are pointing up when the train passes Al. Comparing each other's clock, they measure two seconds between the events. But only one second has passed on the clock on the train. According to special relativity, Al and Paula's time has dilated compared to the train's time. But what does Paula see? You think she'll see the clock run slower, but no, it's faster. In fact, it's less than 0.3 seconds. Why? The light of the train's clock at the start has to reach Paula first before she sees it. The light traveling at sea and the train at a less means that the light of the clock will reach her first after 1.7 second delay, which means only 0.3 seconds to see the remaining part of the journey. That is why you see it quicker. Time dilation is about what is measured because what you see needs to allow for the finite speed of light.